This tutorial was made using Final Cut Express HD version 3.5.1. Hello and welcome to this Final Cut Express tutorial a day, tutorial number two. In this tutorial, we will be putting a lower third over a clip and animating it. So, as usual, the first thing we need to do is import the clip. I'll import, or as usual, Command I. Locate it and bring it in. Load it into the viewer and find the clip that you want. I'm going to start it about right here. Then set your out point. Then we can put it in our timeline. And we can zoom that in to fit. There. Press that. Do that by pressing Control Z. I mean, uh, Shift Z. So let's um, play through our clip first. See what it is. So now we want to um, get her name superimposed over that. So the first thing we need to do is create a new sequence. And we'll name it the um, lower third sequence we'll open that up by pressing enter and then we can um, first thing we need to do is get a gradient and you'll see why later put that in and we can shorten this about to about three seconds long Zoom in a bit. Get a uh, color. And I think I'm going to make this color red. So click this. And click this tool right here. Or the crayon box. I prefer this. And choose red. And there we have that. Drag that down. And... There. Final thing we're going to do is get the text, the lower third. And now what I'm going to type in on the top is children's kabuki group. And I'm going to change this to italic. Actually, bold italic. Keep that at white. And now I'm going to put the location. Damin ja, Japan. And those are fine there. And there we have that. And then we can just superimpose that. Now you may be wondering, well, that's not going to do much. So we're going to load this back in. And we're going to go to the motion tab. Close this and use the crop. Zoom out. Now we get to crop the top and the bottom. Let's just put it a little bit above. And we'll crop the bottom. Then. Seven. Yeah, that's good. Now here comes the special part. We're going to right click on it. Opposite mode and travel mat. Luma, and look what happens. It turns into a fading gradient. Now that's pretty cool, but um, doesn't do much. It just sits there. So now we're going to add some. Uh, add um, let's see. We'll add the... Oh, there we go. There they are. Video transitions. Slide. 
and there. I guess that doesn't work. Uh, maybe it was. Okay, that's pretty cool, but I don't think it's good enough. It looks a lot like a news thing, but... We all know this isn't a news thing, so let's get rid of that. And... There. That's cool. Then we can animate this. We can start that here. And we'll go about a second in. Oop, hold on. Let's go back here. And move it up. So now, that looks cool. There we go. Let's just render it real quick. By the way, I'm using Tom Wolski's Final Cut Express HD 3.5 Editing Workshop. This is a very good book. You can't really see it there, but I'll put a cover in, a picture, and an Amazon link. And that's it's a good book, so you should get it if you're really serious about this. So now comes the, um, the sequence. This is called nesting, what I'm about to do. I'm going to drag an existing sequence down into another sequence, and that nests the sequence into one layer. So theoretically, you could have unlimited amount of layers. So now let me render this one more time. So anyways, um, you can find Tom Wolski on the Apple Discussion Forums, HTTP discussions.apple.com. And there will you can f ask him questions about his book or just in general. So now let's just now let's actually add a uh, cross dissolve there. Render that real quick. Now we can see it's pretty cool. There we go. So that's a quick tutorial. Now, you should now start to expect um, a tutorial every day. And some days I might not do it, but I'm going to try to do it. So thanks for listening. Bye-bye.